What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys all the ways that we know of to get a max light level gear of 335 coming in the April update of Destiny the Taken King. So now that all the Bungie reveal streams have come and gone, we now have a bunch of information on how to earn the max light level gear coming in the April update. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to first off reference this tweet posted by Destiny the Game on Twitter and it shows the April update and earn light level 335 gear and it shows the various activities that we can do to earn a gear up to 335 light. So do keep in mind that you're not going to get guaranteed max level drops when you do these activities but you have a chance to get gear up to 335 so starting off with PVE we got challenge of the elders this is the new PVE game mode coming in the April update and it's pretty much a challenge version of prison of elders so in order to acquire your 335 or up to 335 a gear you need to acquire the elder sigil from Varix and complete the requirements on the elder sigil and once you turn them in and meet those requirements Varix will have rewards for you that can grant you weapons or armor armor up to 335. Uh, next for PvE we got King's Fall hard mode raid so according to the Bungie.net website it does say up to 330 but according to their Twitter it says up to 335 so I'm not completely sure on this one but uh, King's Fall is a good source they are upping the level of drops on it in general so you still can go in there and play it once the April update comes out and according to this it says 335 drops are gonna happen in there as well so that's a good thing as well we can get some max light level drops from doing raids still and the raid isn't just gonna be something that we can play for fun it's still gonna be rewarding going Going forward when the light level increases with this update. So the next one for PvE is something that they forgot to mention on this list and that is strike specific gear. So for the various strikes there are specific weapons slash armor pieces that drop that are only exclusive to that specific strike and according to what they said in the streams uh, from now on if you get some of those strike exclusive gear they can drop at 335 a light. So that's another source for max light level gear so you can play it in heroic strikes, you can play it in the nightfall. Uh, the nightfall might be a better way to farm some of these strike exclusive gear uh, just because it seems like the nightfall has a higher drop rate of strike exclusive drops so uh, you can farm the nightfall and aside from the actual nightfall rewards that you get for that week uh, you can possibly get some 335 gear to drop for that particular strike so that's another way and then the last way for PvE is Court of Oryx. So Court of Oryx will drop some 335 artifacts or up to 335. You can just play some Court of Oryx and get your artifacts at 335. So that's another source for uh, gear. That one's specifically for artifacts though. And then for PvP we got Trials of Osiris. So Trials of Osiris is one of your main sources for max light level drops. Uh, the Lighthouse Chest specifically can drop up to 335 gear and it's not going to be just primaries anymore. You can get armor pieces in there as well. So you can get armor and weapons from Trials of Osiris Lighthouse Chest now. So that's another source for max light level gear. And then the second source for PvP is going to be Iron Banner. So Iron Banner is going to drop some max light level gear as end game rewards I believe and your rank 5 packages as well have a chance to get uh, 335 drops as well so that's pretty good even though iron banner is only once a month it's still another source for pvp and then the last activity for pvp is going to be your weekly crucible bounties from lord shax so if you completed the quest with lord shax the main crucible quest line and you have your weekly bounties that he gives you every week once you turn in the last one your drop in that last bounty after completing all of the bounties for the week will give you a chance to earn a max light level or 335 drops so that's what they said in the latest crucible stream so that's a weekly activity for pvp that you can do that could earn you max light level drops as well and then finally the last way to get max light level drops is going to be through exotic engrams. So I don't know if exotic engrams is going to have a range of light levels that it could drop at but it can come up to 335 even decrypting engrams from the cryptarch. So that's another good way that you can earn. You can just use three of coins and try to get engrams and possibly get 335 drops from engrams as well. So those are all the ways that we know of right now of how to get a max light level gear. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.